File name globbing in Bash means wildcard characters for file names. Bash recognizes three kinds of characters for this. The asterisk or star, which means zero or more characters. The question mark, which means a single character can have any content but must be present. And the square brackets, which means a single character and must be one of the characters in between the square brackets. So if I wanted to see all the names of the files that started with capital M in my directory, I could use a command like ls m star to show me all the files that start with a capital M. If I wanted to see all of the ones that had a capital F in them, I could do a, an ls of star capital F star and a capital F anywhere in the file name will make it get included. If I wanted all the file names that had two characters in them, and I don't care what they are, as long as the file name is two characters long, I could do question mark, question mark, which means any character followed by any other character and only that. And I'll see every file that has two characters in its name. If I wanted any file that starts with or has a character, in the first position, followed by anything else, and the first position character had to be capital M or capital F, I would put those in square brackets. This means the first character has to be M or F, and then I can have anything after that. You can use ranges inside the square brackets. <clears throat> This means any character from F through M, as long as they're all capitals, followed by anything else. I see in my output I have the file guess.sh, which starts with a lowercase g. <clears throat> this probably means the system I'm running this on has capital letter sensitivity turned off in the file system. This wildcarding of characters and file names is known as globbing. And you have to be careful for this in your scripts. If you want the star, the question mark, or the square brackets to be interpreted as text for your data on the command line, you have to tell Bash, don't try to match file names with this. So don't forget to use your backslash, single quote, or double quote to turn off those characters if you just want them in your text. This will turn off that question mark. So it just gets displayed.